Convenient. Another destination we were bound for is not far from here. We shall have to decide which is the most pressing. We cannot do everything at once. We have yet more locations to attend to. I shall guide us to our nearest destination. The soldiers delivering freight were last to spy it's near Vermin's eastern edge. That's not far from here. Good day, sir. What might you be looking for? A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. Fewer monsters are to be found in the main road, though carts travel only by the sun's light. Come to think of it, we might already have what we seek stored away. Differing vocations, aren't we? Our respective abilities are unique as well. We must each of us hone our skills. A jack of all trades is a master of none. Pray, follow me. We're here, and none the worse for wear. Useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? I've heard some interesting tidings about town. Regarding the Vermundian military, yes? Twould seem the Queen Regent has made significant alterations to the chain of command. Sir Ludolf's lust knows no bounds. This time he's set his sights on the watchhead's misses. Still, However pressed, no man is like to hand her his own wife, eh? The watchhead refused, and rightly so. But his lordship doesn't take no for an answer. He employed his usual method, which is to say, he dispatched the watchhead on a mission to slay a Dullahan. Poor old Gregor departed last night. I'm sorry to say it, but he shan't be returning alive. That's the sort of man that noble is, you see. Nought noble about him, if you ask me.
Mm. Can't do much on an empty stomach. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? It isn't commonly rare, this. I look forward to informing my own master of its finding when I return beyond the rift. Come to think of it, was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? When the mind is split, the heart must lead. Oh, so I've learned. Do you know how long you'll be? I only asked so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. Tis not our place to hurry the Arisen. I cannot condone this. My apologies, sir, but as you are not a member of this establishment, I cannot permit you through. Not a chance. Tis good to be reunited. I could swear I've seen what's needed here amidst what we have in storage. Have we purchased all that we require? We ought to review the contents of our packs just to be sure.
Tis a glad thing we rested when we did. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. Coming to assail us. Mayhap we've scared the. Come to think of it, we might already have what we seek stored away. One of us has been drenched! No dawdling. The arisen calls. Understood. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. Ah, oh, excellent find. As I recall, the location of another of our tasks is not far from here. We shall have to decide which is the most pressing. We cannot do it. Hoy, friend! Have a great time for me today? I dare say we're owed you another talk. There's something I've come to understand during my stolen hours exploring these streets, and I wanted to share it with you. Every last resident in this city is wholeheartedly devoted to living out their lives. It seems a simple observation, I know, but to me, it was a revelation. For it made me painfully aware of my own position. Can this existence of mine even be called living when I am so doted upon by my mother? I want to live a life I can proudly call my own and to achieve it with all that my heart desires. I tire of enduring my mother's coddling and of having to mind every twitch in her face in order to appease her. Looking at this box, it fills me with courage. It is proof that I am not my mother's servant to be willed about as she pleases. It is something I obtained of my own will, though it came to me through you, of course. Pray, take this with my thanks. It is quite a rarity as I hear it. I hope it is to your liking. Now, I'd best be off. I may not be able to wander the city again for some time. There's aught I would do. Thus, I cannot say when next we'll see each other, though I feel sure we shall in time. Uh, perhaps sooner than we might think. <laughs> Till then, take care, friend. That was quite a gift. I hope that procuring it was not a burden upon the lad. Do as you say.
limb pickings of late. Let me alone, will ye? I'm a busy woman. Oh. What does this say? Let's have a look then. of flowers already? Well, take your time. You know where to find me. Me a bunch of flowers already. Oh, just look at them. They're the most beautiful flowers I've ever seen. <laughs> These should brighten the sisters' days. Say, would you mind terribly if I asked you another favor? See, one of my friends taught me a magic spell. It's supposed to let you meet whomever you like. All you have to do is find a silver stone, put it under your pillow, and say the magic words. But there's the problem. I've been looking all over for such a stone, and I can't find one anywhere. Would you find a silver stone and bring it to me, Arisen? For true. I knew I could count on you, Arisen. I'll be waiting. Our next mission is to acquire a silver stone. Mayhap silver ore will serve? We can purchase it or mine it up ourselves. I quite agree. Forgive me, but I cannot guide you from here. Here we are. Arms, arms for the poor. Pray grant those less. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. No harm in picking a few. Up feeling weird. Arms, Enough arms for the poor. Rest. Pray grant those this fortunate some salvation. A little happiness is all I ask of life. It's so dull when there's nothing doing. I can't find a silver stone anywhere. Have you fared any better? Oh, just look how it shines. Thank you ever so much. Say, aren't you curious who I want to meet? Well, I'll tell you. My mother and father. I don't even know what they look like, you know. Not to say I'm unhappy at the gracious hand, of course. But I'd really like to meet them, even just once. I want to tell them how grateful I am that they gave me life. Oh, it's so shiny. Oh, hi, Arisen. 
You'll help me again if I need it, won't you? Please say yes. Miss Daphne seemed pleased with our efforts. Mayhap we ought to pay her another visit sometime soon. I quite agree. You'll have to excuse me. I have a job to attend to. But not at the expense of my duty. It's nice. They are strapped. Always a fresh breeze blowing round the We must rest. Though the sun. Good morrow, everyone. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Shall we get. Shall we pay Miss Daphne another visit? I find myself wondering how the young lass fares. If you would be so kind as to follow me, I shall take you to the one you seek. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Aha. Hail, friend. How fare you? Tis not long now ere I am to undertake the trial of archery. I thought it only right to tell you that, as you were the one who gifted me the bow that I'll be using. I was also rather hoping you would consider attending. No one could be worthier of witnessing this milestone in elven archery than you. Ah, but the path to the arbor is not easily found or followed. 
To be best, I escorted you. There is a log bridge near the ruins where I train. I'll await you on the other side. Come find me when you are ready to make for the sacred arbor, the village of my people. How might I be of service? Come take a look. You'll be glad you did. Always a pleasure. Anything? I've been here so long, I always forgot why I came back. Well, my son. There's got to be something fun to do here. Let's see. Where's the next? Well, my son. How might I be absurd? I ought to ask around town. If our destination is a distant one, travel by ox cart might be worth considering. Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. Soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the full. Most hospitality in all much obliged. This inspires an order that must be Oh my god, dead on my feet. I just on my feet. Welcome to Bjorn's and quality is what you need if you want to survive. So before you check the price, just remember, hope to see you again. Not buying? That's just as well. 
Better to be selective than wasteful. Browsing was enough to scratch the... Itch, in my case. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. We're here, and none the worse for wear. Wickedness has no hold upon a good day, sir. Oh, look, a chest. Well, I shan't get my hopes up. There's treasure within, I'm certain of it. But there's only one way to find out. Oh, someone help me. Jahan? Bruno, where have you gone? Arms for the poor. Pray grant those less fortunate. I'll gather this. It might be of use. What to do? What to do? Hoy arisen! Say, have you heard about the state of the river? Do you know the river close by the church? Well, it's come to be full of muck and filth and all sorts. That's a problem for the church, as it draws from the river to make holy water. The water's so filthy that it's going to take twice the amount of gold ore to purify it. I was thinking you could help the priests by finding some gold ore. After all, it wouldn't be good for anyone if the church ran out of holy water. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. Thanks ever so much. I'll help too. I'll look for gold ore every place I can think of. Now we seek gold ore. Though it is sold in shops, mining some ourselves might prove the better choice. Right you are. There's a ladder here. Ah, oh, excellent find. Just yonder looks to be a good spot. Oh. 
for harvesting ingredients. We could pick some now. Why are you risen? Have you found any gold ore yet? Wow! This'll be plenty, I reckon. Thank you ever so much. Listen, I was talking to the priests, and apparently our troubles aren't over yet. Would you be willing to lend us a hand again, Arisen? Just one more time? Thanks. So, remember how I told you about the river by the church getting all mucky? Well, the grown-ups are saying it's gotten worse. Now lots of people who live nearby are falling sick. The priests have been treating everyone as best they can, but there's nowhere near enough medicine to go round. I want to help them, but I'm not sure what I can do. Apart from ask you, that is. Would you bring us some more medicine, Arisen? Oh, thanks, Arisen. What would we do without you? I'll talk to the priests in the meantime, see if there's anything useful I can do. Now we've need of medicine. We can purchase it at shops or make some ourselves by combining the ingredients. Understood. Have you brought any medicine with you? Now that's just splendid! Oh, thank you, Arisen. This should be plenty. I'll take it to the church straight away. Tis a goodly deed we've done aiding the sick. I only hope our efforts go a ways toward improving life in the slums. I quite agree. Where's my dagger? My claws could use a trick. I will have enough for a few pinches of spices. I've got the sharpest ears in town. Oh, sir, if you please, pray excuse my boldness, sir. I am but a humble maid in service to a noble household. Might I beg a moment of your time? My master is in need of aid, you see, and I'm hoping you'll consider offering your assistance. Oh, thank you, sir. You cannot imagine my relief. Might we continue this conversation somewhere more discreet? The matter it concerns is rather sensitive, and I would not risk being overheard. You will find my master's manor in the noble quarter. Pray, meet me there at your earliest convenience. Right, just follow me.
my feet a moment. Lots to do. Have precious little time. Shall we visit the manor as the maid bid? Follow me, master. I shall guide you to the location. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. I must confess, I feared you would not. But I forget myself. You must be wondering why I asked you here. I should like to speak with an acquaintance of yours, a child with whom I espied you conversing. She is the spitting image of my young master, you see. It is my hope that she might take his place for a time, thereby granting him a reprieve from his sorry situation. Diana! Would you paint my mother a criminal? <clears throat> Perhaps I ought to be the one to explain. Young master, I... I meant no offence. Diana has the right of it, though the situation is not nearly so dire as she makes it sound. I seek only the freedom to leave my own home. My mother is bedridden, you see, and her mind is not so sharp as it once was. Whenever I am absent, she grows terribly distressed. By leaving a look-alike in the house, I hope to ensure her peace of mind while I attend to matters of my own. Would you be willing to lend your assistance? Splendid! Thank you so very much. It was in the slums that I witnessed you speaking with the girl. Would you be so kind as to bring her here? Perhaps you would indulge me in conversation? I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. Every day is as a boon from the heavens. Tis here that the bodies of those who fall in vermin are first kept and tended to. I beg you to conduct yourself with care and with a reverence befitting of one who walks among the dead. My days are spent in solemn reflection. Your patronage is much appreciated. Solitary shard is good for little. We need to seek out more of these if tis to be of use. We ought to keep it with care, lest we lose it.
Over here, if you please. Have you a different destination in mind, Master? Very well. I shall follow your lead instead. This should be of use. Arms, arms for the poor. Pray grant those less fortunate some salvation. Hoy, Arisen! I was hoping you'd come by so I could thank you again for all your help. You really made a difference around here, hmm? You wanted to ask me a favor this time? All right. How can I help? So, this noble boy wants me to pretend to be him? Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure that'd work. I mean, I don't know the first thing about being a noble. Besides, are you sure we can trust these people? It all sounds a bit fishy to me. All right, I'll do it. But if I'm not very good at it, it's not my fault, okay? There's no advice. easy thing, making a living. I'll take so any good. chance not to think on my troubles. Times are hard. I'm barely scraping by. Seems my feet always... Oh, the Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. We ought to put it to good use. Find place to harvest some ingredients. No harm in picking a few. Look, young master, she's here. Indeed, I could be. Staring into a mirror. Diana, will you dress her and instruct her in her role? As you wish, young master. This way, if you please, miss. What a kindness you've done me. Now I can go and fetch a gift for mother. I'm hoping a little cheer will aid her in her recovery. And a flower from Melv seems just the thing. And she was born there, you see. No doubt her days would be brighter with a memento of her old home by her bedside. All is ready, young master. You need only finish your preparations for the journey. You know, the roads around Melv are supposed to be really dangerous. 
I heard the safest way to get there is to carry something that reeks of Cyclops with you, because it'll scare all the monsters away. Let's see. What else must I bring? Ah, I almost forgot. In that goes. The lands around Melva rife with poisonous flora. I'd hoped to pack an antidote for the young master, but the shops had none to spare. Tis not only poison the plants inflict, but drowsiness besides. Might there not be a curative that accounts for both? Well then, I ought to be off, I must confess. I feel rather... I only hope I've not forgotten anything of import. Hmm. You think I ought to bring some medicine and monster repellent with me? What precisely would you suggest? My thanks. I'm certain these will come in useful. Now, I really must be going. Wish me luck. Take care, young master. Come back safe. Thank you for your aid in all of this, sir. I shall see about procuring you a suitable reward, so pray do come visit us again. What are you doing? We've not been given leave to rest yet. Oh, someone do what about this? The young master has not returned. I beg you, find him and bring him safely home. If all were to befall him, I... Oh, I shudder to think. You'll help him, won't you, Arisen? By the predicament. Beg pardon, sir, but might I have a moment of your time? I have a proposal to make, and methinks you'll want to hear it. See? A friend of mine hath an empty house, but no use for it. And I see you round the inn rather often. Understand me? It wouldn't come free, mind, but the price is a fair one, and you'd have a place to call your own. What say you? Well, you needn't decide this very moment. Come speak with me again once your mind's set.
This ladder can take us to new heights. Ah, oh, excellent find. I'll make a living if I get myself injured. Nattering all day is tiring. Good tidings, friend. How have you been keeping? As for me, I made the most of my week-long sojourn. One might even say I enjoyed myself over much. You see, I grew so fond of the destination my feet carried me off to, methinks I should like to live there. And that's when I thought, mayhap you've grown just as fond of this dwelling. Fond enough to purchase it from me? I can't just give it to you, mind. I've my relocation costs to consider, but I'd sell it to you cheap as I can afford. Well, friend, what say you? Much obliged, friend. I hope you're as pleased with our deal as I am. This little dwelling's all yours now. Suppose I'd best be off. I've my own home to get to. I hope you'll be happy here, friend. Farewell. Pray, do not impede me, sir. I'm on duty. A good sleep will ensure we are prepared for the morrow. Good morrow, everyone. Off we go then. A new day. A new perspective. Master Sebastian is yet to return. Perhaps we ought to make for Melv and search for him. Methinks I know the general destination. Shall I show you the way, Master? This ox cart's bound for. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Cart ought to make our journey easier. Fewer monsters are to be found on the main road, though carts travel only by the sun's light. Ah, here we are. The ox cart made it without too much trouble. Mayhap we can employ a cart for our next journey. Since letting the enemy gain the upper hand, early gripping gets the worm. Fall back, and I'll use my magic. Don't try that. Let my magic be your weapon with the fury of the element. I say it. We trounced our foe well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Freshly rested as we are. Help me! The fiends have been surrounded! I can't get away! Tis you! Thank goodness you happened by, or who knows what might have become of me. You have my gratitude, but do excuse me. I'd best make for home.
We have found a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. This will seem of little consequence, but different masters favour different pawns. One whom I saw In every age, when the arisen fells the dragon. What did he say his name was again? Apologies, but I can't offer you a ride, sir. I've a selection of wares that shook. Order, please. See you again. I do so enjoy stocking up on supplies. Gold makes the world go round. I quite agree. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? Business could be better, but I'm scraping by. Do come again. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. We ought to appear at the inn. We ought I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something? You shan't hear me complain about an early repose. I trust we've all inspected our equipment. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Shall we get underway? This ox cart's bound for Burnworth. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Just yonder. Looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Welcome home, young master. Thank you, Diana. 
I am glad to be back. Twas a hard journey, but I found what I sought. A blue sunbright, the sigil of our house. I only hope Mother will be pleased. Oh, a blue sunbright. I thought they were make-believe. Oh no, they're quite real. Rather rare, though, and particularly to Melv. I'm surprised you've heard of them, to be frank. Really? Well, there's a picture of one stuck to the inner cover of a book that was donated to the Gracious Hand. I asked Sir Kendrick about it. He told me the flower's name. A picture, you say? How very odd. I believe Miss Daphne is describing a book plate. The book in question will have been a donation from this very house. Indeed, the mistress has been very generous in her support of the Gracious Hand over the years. For true? Oh, I must tell her thank you. I think I could arrange that. I am certain my mistress would be delighted. Yes. Well, as for me, I'm just pleased to be home safe and sound. All this racket! What's going on? Good gracious, what is the meaning of this? Oh, you must be the lady who's been supporting the gracious hand. Thank you ever so much for all you've done for us. What precisely have you told this girl? Not a word, mistress. I swear it. Good. As for you, girl, you need not thank me. Tis the privilege of the nobility to help those who are less fortunate. Now, tis getting late. You had best be off. Do be sure to leave the house unseen. And fare you well, child. Know that where'er life may lead you, you may take pride in who you are. Come, Diana. I would speak with you alone. You have some explaining to do. What was that all about? Mother seemed awfully perturbed. I do wonder what that was all about. Though I'm not sure we ought to pry. A bitter end breeds no satisfaction. Onward to Vernworth Castle. It is a relief to be home safe and sound. I only hope the blue sunbright lifts Mother's spirits. To think the lady here has been supporting the gracious hand for so long. I must find a way to thank her. Are all the nobles so kind? I can't wait to tell everybody at the Gracious Hand that I met the lady who gave us the book with the pretty flower. Follow me. What's going on? Doesn't seem right, this. I'm afraid not. I took you for a kinder sort than that. Seems you won't be swayed. A shame, that. I've naught to say to the likes of you. Seems you won't be swayed. A shame, that. Tell is. Vermond was once a bee-string kingdom. Truly? Quite, though no definitive records remain. Does finding these be so difficult? A splendid discovery. Ha! Huh? I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. It is quiet about. Greetings. We pawns are barred from entering the palace, but nothing shall keep me from escorting you to the gates. Such peace. Have no fear, Master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. 
Tis not our place to hurry the Arisen. You've come. Captain Brandt bade me allow you passage. If you want to leave, show us your, uh, sincerity. Very well.
stomach. There's a ladder here. Ah, oh, excellent find. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait right there. We must rest, though the sun is still up. In another world, a bold and mighty warrior was the pillar of our party. I'd gladly assume the same role myself. Good morrow, everyone. Off we go, then. Feeling rested, I trust? Wait. For the new equipment to come in. Not much going on. Hmm. 
Never mind what they say. I'll hold my head any high. Easy work to be had. To take a moment. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? This is most convenient. Another destination we were bound for is not far from here. Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. Predicament. Oh, someone talked about this. Too quiet here for my liking. It is quiet about. As I've said, my husband has left to slay a Dullahan at the ill doer's resting place. I can't tell you when he'll return, so you'd best visit us another day, sir. Oh, Sir Ludolf, you say? Aye, we're acquainted. He's been coming around oft of late. As I recall, his visit started just before Gregor was given his new assignment. Why are you asking me about him? Does this have aught to do with my husband? What? No! You mean... Not my Gregor? Sir Arisen, I beg of you. You must save my husband. 
You will be repaid, I swear it. No amount of gold can compare to his life. Just please, save him. Oh, thank goodness. Pray, go to him at once. My husband's life is in your hands, sir. Let us do everything in our power to render aid to those in need. If we're to aid Sir Gregor, we must needs make for the ill-doer's resting place. Follow me. I will guide you to the location. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Our destination is rather distant. Perhaps we ought to consider employing the services of an ox cart. A most agreeable suggestion. Of course, the Arisen shall have the final say in the matter. Come, I'll lead the way. It is a glad thing we rested when we did. We must not let down our dog. That looks thrilling. I did not know I could feel so alive. Allow me to alter our route, Master. By my calculations, this one will prove shorter. Wait right there. My word. This ox cart has been destroyed. Wrought by the hands of brigands. Or the claws of monsters. We need not shrink from danger. We've the strength to prevail over anything. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is my speciality. Great. Follow me. Tis this way. Let's my magic 
magic sword to the main I'll take that. We might find a use for it. <gasps> oh, oh. Have a gander at my wares. You shan't regret it. Hope to see you again ere long. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. Am I the first to notice we've all got different vocations? One should think we'll be able to counter whatever comes our way. I see it as a glad thing. We are well poised to supplement each other's strengths. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. 
I say we collect as much as we can carry. While in another world, I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by here. Perhaps I could show you the way. Master! I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. This might be worth a... ...read. Shall we take a closer look? Over here, if you would. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around.
I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat thrills to gap. Not compares to the thrill of victory. One cannot help but feel indomitable. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. Hoping I can find myself in peace and mark. Boy, hand over all the coin in your purse now. <sighs> Hold it! Come, I'll lead the way. This should be of use. I grant you light in this bag. I'll go and open the chest. Great, follow me. Fire's fury shan't be evaded against this foe. I believe yon foe is drawn to light. We ought to extinguish our lanterns as we summon it in winter.
This is the product of your heedlessness. It's called taking the initiative. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. Do not despair. I'm coming to the Over here, if you please. Well, we've eaten our fill. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? This isn't the way to our destination, but I presume you've a new one in mind. Hold on. You! What are you doing here? I have not caught any of
the beast is felled. Lady Margaret will be eager for the good tidings. We had best not keep her waiting. I believe I can guide you to the person in question. We're in your hand. What's this? Where's the fiend gone? Has it fled? I can hardly believe it. I fought at Dullahan and she'll live to tell the tale. But fie! I've just remembered. See, I hadn't thought I'd return alive. But I didn't want to worry my wife when I departed. So I took a letter with me just in case. And when the tide of battle threatened to overwhelm us, I sent a runner to bear it to my wife. Mere moments before your arrival. It would be an awkward thing for her to read my final farewell, only for me to arrive on the morrow fit as a fiddle. Though I dare say she'd forgive me. Oh, it will be a blessing enough to see her again. I can ask for no more than that. Right, I'd best be off, if I'm to make it home before that letter arrives. Oh, and if I've not said it yet, thank you, sir. I'm well and truly in your debt. Now, what might that be? We ought to take a closer look. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Ah, now here's a surprise. At least all our efforts weren't for naught. Ha! Ah. I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. Another encounter? I ill like ah! We are already hard pressed from our previous engagement. I'll save you. Glad to see you have the matter in hand. I grant you fire flame. Use it well. I knew that I could count upon your strength arisen. What say we get some rest? I'm not sure I could face a trek with my belly so full. Get anywhere yes. before we do is rest. It is enough to make camp only when the need arises. So hungry. No, don't want to die. What will the wife say? I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle. Have you forgotten 
something arisen? You're looking rather lost. Grows over full. Simply ask me to sell off your surplus items. I'll have the gold for you in a trice. I dare say. I've accomplished a few feats to be proud of at least. Ah, oh, good. I see the Arisen's found someone to handle our busy work. Do we truly expect to find all to value in a chest hidden in a place like this? fell from the beast as it breathed its last. I trust all's well, sir. Here we are, in the blink of an eye. Shall we take stock of our surroundings? Quite the predicament. Sir Arisen, I cannot thank you enough for what you've done for us. I, you've my humblest gratitude, sir. If not for you, I'd ne'er have made it home. Still, I doubt this is the last we'll be hearing from Sir Ludolf. He's not like to admit defeat after only one attempt. Where will I be sent next, I wonder? Have you not heard, my love? Sir Ludolf has fallen deathly ill. He has? Aye, he was poisoned. From the tell of it, it was concealed in a gift. A bottle of wine or some such. But I suppose it is not so surprising. A dastardly man like that must have had no shortage of enemies. True enough. I'm sure no few held a grudge against him for all he's done. Indeed. Perhaps one might call this his just desserts. <laughs> that 
actually managed to protect Sir Gregor from the Doolahan. You may well be stronger than my own master. Splendid. Predicament. Time was, you scarce saw any beast. You'd think that'd be on account of him. At least I've ne'er beheld a human. If we keep mixing, someday I. Master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. What should I get up working this I'm not stopping. Well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost... Much obliged. I fear I have no wisdom to offer. I cannot enter the palace myself. I will at least escort you to the entrance. Every little thing needs reporting. Look, my thanks. This isn't much to go on. Will someone do all about this? A lonely place, but not without its charms. Bunch of sluggards. Mm. Quiet at last. Do you know how long you'll be? I only asked so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. So, you've come. Captain Brandt bade me allow you passage. I can't expect to fare so well every day. I must be vigilant. The townspeople depend on me. As soon as my shift's done, I'm off to the tavern. I wasn't worried for a moment. Wherever you go, we pawns will always find you arisen.
would that all my days were so oh, I could use a rest. I'd hasten home, were this not my duty. I'll not stick my head where it will get cut off. And have you come to release me from this jail? Who are you? No. Uh -huh. Then we are presented with three options. Either the law of our world that allows only one arisen has been upended, or Deezer's arisen is false, or you are lying to me. Have you proof that you are arisen, as you say? Ah. They say the Arisen's breast bears a wound akin to the dragon's claw. By that mark, t'would seem tis true. This reminds me of a happening 148 years ago. During the reign of Regent Alphonse, a man named Crusoe appeared and claimed to be Arisen. He went before the people, insisting that he, and not Regent Alphonse, was the true Arisen, the one fit to lead them as their ruler. And what befell him, you ask? Ha! Crusoe was discovered to be a liar, whereupon his head was liberated from his shoulders on the spot. Aye, I dare say your arrival portends another beheading, but whose will it be, hmm? Escape? But why? Here, I spend my days perusing the code and deciphering old texts. I can devote all my time to my own interests. And I need not turn my ear to Deesa's absurd demands. Tis a paradise to me, this cell. That said, if you know of a place with a mountain of tomes I could delve into, I might rethink the matter. Tell me. Does that ring any bells? I suspected as much. Then we are done here. Leave me be. The Magistrate seeks a place to quench his thirst for knowledge. Where might we find one, I wonder? There was a place fitting that description within the slums, as I recall. Slim pickings of late.
gentle scratch on my arms and armor. Feels eerie with no one about. Got to focus. My head will roll. Still alive. We're not done yet, Master. Our next destination awaits. I shall guide us to our nearest destination. We were to make for Harve Village, as I recall. It is not far from here. Might I be of service? Now there's a worthy prize. If only twent so far away. Come take a look. You'll be glad you did. Always a pleasure. I've heard some interesting tidings about town. Regarding the Vermundian military, yes? Twould seem the Queen Regent has made significant alterations to the chain of command.
would that all my days were so What tranquil. did I do to deserve this? Pity me, do you? I've got the sharpest ears in town. Oh, I could use a rest. <laughs> I wish life was nothing but the good bits. Oh, no pain. Oh, I can do it. Another moment of rest. A mug of ale is close to my eyes. Maybe you look at my wares. You're always such fun to talk to. Interested in my wares? The sleeper doesn't do a thing. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist you. Have you found any of the items we discussed, Perch? No. Do come again! Look at the wrong... As you please. No shame in letting down your hair now and This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. After you were risen. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hostel. You shan't hear me complain about it. Our adventure continues. Come, we've much to be getting on with. 